Championship presented by Specialized here as a part of America's premier off-road racing championship GNCC coverage. It's the summer break and the two-wheel and four-wheel motorcycle and ATVs are resting, but the EMTV GNCC racers are heating up as we head to Loretta Lens. It all comes to you next on NAV TV. Are you ready to go GNCC racing? Hello and welcome to Loretta Lynn Ranch in Hurricane Mills, Tennessee for the FIM North American EMTB Championship. I'm Rodney Tomlin as the two-wheel and four-wheel GNCC racers take a summer break. Our EMTB racers have headed here to the home of the Queen of Country Music in celebration of the Amateur National Motocross Championship as well as a $10,000 winner-take-all purse here for EMTB GNCC Racing. But leading into this event, was of course six great rounds of racing that has opened the eyes of the racing world to what EMTV GNCC means and of course it is coming I think in bigger waves in the future as we kick this one off at round number one it was your defending champion hot rod Charlie Mullins virtually untouchable he did have some challenges early on from Kyle Smith and Cypress Gorey but when it was all said and done Charlie Mullins takes the win Gorey in second Kyle Smith Nick Mackey and John Ayers rounding out the top five. On to round two, where we went to the Tiger Run GNCC. It was uh, once again, Charlie Mullins, the man to beat, but the Floridian challenger, once again, making his waves out there. Nick Mackey and Kyle Smith, last year's runner up, knocking it on the door a few times as well as they cross the finish line. It was Mullins, Mackey, Smith, Will Pagram, and Jeff McCarron rounding out your top five. On to round three to Indiana at the Hoosier. And this one saw even more challenges and the excitement level beginning to build as far as EMTV GNCC racing was concerned as Nick Mackey, the challenger out of Florida, not only challenged, but he got out front of Charlie Mullins about midway through the race and Mullins could not overcome no matter how hard he pushed. It was a three-way battle and shootout as Kyle Smith was right there with him. But at the end, by only inches, it was... Kyle Mackey taking his first win in EMTV GNCC. Mullen Smith coming up. And of course, on to round four as we uh, head to this one, the John Penton GNCC, the longest standing Grand National Cross Country event on the series and circuit, actually kind of the birthplace of EMTBs as they took off into that first turn and got things off and rolling. Once again, it was all well and good as everyone knew that Hot Rod Charlie Mullins was gonna be the rider to beat, but we also knew that he had challenges coming in and the competition was starting to get deep. Kyle Smith running in that number two spot uh, on and off. He started out in third, went to second. It was Mackey going uh, first and second. The Mullins never could get past that second place position. Actually started out second, dropped to third as we moved on to round number five, the Mason Dixon GNCC. Kyle Mackey once again uh, starting to be the uh, well, kind of a favorite here is Charlie Mullins was starting to see his back against the wall, but we know what that means to Charlie Mullins. It only means he's going to dig deeper, as we've seen in years past, but he couldn't dig deep enough on this day as, once again, Mackey takes the win. Smith and Mullins in that number three spot. Ty Teasdale starting to sneak up into the action on that one. It looked like he got fifth at the round before, fourth at the next. And of course, as we head on to the Snowshoe GNCC, might be one of the more challenging as far as terrain is concerned up to this point as far as EMTB GNCC racing is concerned. But uh, these riders are well used to this kind of racing as uh, we've seen many different downhill uh, runs and mountain bikes. But Charlie Mullins back to the winner's circle on this one. Nick Mackey in second. It was a close one on that one, no doubt about it. Kyle Smith uh, was third. Connor Kakowski and Adam Mayhew, as far as the points are concerned, round out the top five. I'm here with Nick Mackey, two-time winner this season in the XC1 Pro Class. Nick, being a Florida guy, this weather has got to play, got to play into your strengths. Um, and then 
have you been able to get any of your Florida friends to come up here out of the mountain bike world to compete in this event? Yeah, actually, I uh, got a couple guys out here, some strong guys from Florida I, I somewhat train with when I'm back home. Um, and it's cool to see them out here, and just and they're just all about it. And it's it's just something different, too. It's it's What I tell people is it's the, hard, it's the hardest thing to explain to someone. They literally just have to come experience it. It's... Uh, it's its own just genre of racing, you know. It's you got the hard, if, you know, you got an hour of racing, so it's going to be intense. It's going to be tough, and with you know me laying the courses out, helping them, you know, Jeff Russell was helping out as well. Um, you know, we try to make the courses the G and CC hair scramble kind of type, but we're adding single track mountain bike feel, so you're getting the best of both worlds with a little enduro mountain bike feel. It's technical out there. It's not. It's a challenging course, you know. You're on an electric bike. We want to make it challenging, you know. But um, as far as the heat goes, I haven't been back home since uh, probably March. So this is the first time I've been in the heat all year. So it's it's been nice being here a couple of days early. I will say, you know, being acclimated, it's 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 tough, man. Well, good luck to you, Nick. And I know I'll see you up front for sure. Appreciate it, guys. Well, Nick Mackey out of Florida certainly adapting well to the terrain of the Grand National Cross Country style of racing in electric mountain bikes as we get set to go. Technical clay course, a lot of rocks on those hillsides and kind of mountainous terrain as well. Uh, loose rocks at that, but the uh, crew here at Loretta Lens has done a great job of laying out a, an amazing course as they take off on the legendary Loretta Lens start line for the AMA Amateur National Motocross Championship finale that takes place each and every August as we kick things off here. Cypress Gorey able to pull out in the early lead of this one. And, I tell you, with the money on the line for this race, a lot of riders coming out for this one from all across North America, U.S. and Canada that are making their bid for the $10,000 as well as uh, a mark in American EMTV GNCC racing. Uh, kind of, if you will, uh, laying the groundwork for a whole new championship style of off-road racing. And a lot of those XC1 Pro riders are sorting it out right now. Those Cypress, Gory, Charlie Mullins, Nick Mackey, all the players are up front. Who's going to come out on top? Stick around to find out. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV-TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E-Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. I'm here with Erland Rosa, the man who had the vision to start e-bike racing. Erland, tell us how e-bike racing evolved from the beginning to what we have here today? Well, probably four and a half years ago, GNCC had the wisdom to notice that e-bikes were bicycles, not motorcycles, not motor vehicles. Ultimately, what that led me to see was that we could introduce e-bikes into this arena for people to get out there, see the tracks, um, basically learn everything and get an opportunity to put people on e-bikes and see what they were all about. So it started out as a gorilla demo basically with a 10 by 10 tent and a small truck and a handful of bikes. Um, jump about a year ahead, I uh, convinced the company to, to give me an opportunity to work out a contract with GNCC. We negotiated it. They started building trails specifically for e-bike racing. Um, we figured out everything we needed to know. And then from that, uh, it got a life of its own. And now here we are today, you know, you've got well over 100 racers ready to go. We've got world champions from the cycling world, Hall of Famers from the cycling world. We've got world champions from both moto, uh, motocross and, and GNCC racing. Um, you know, it's beyond my wildest dreams, and it's just going to keep getting better. Well, I'll tell you, Erlen might quite likely be known as the father of EMTB GNCC Racing. Charlie Mullins, Kyle Smith, Nick Mackey, one, two, and three. No surprises there as far as this race is concerned. These front three are starting to kick things off. Big money up for grabs, so I expect there's going to be more pressure. There's Cypress Gorey now in fourth place. He's had a rather consistent season. Oh, a little trouble there, it looks like, as... He may have hit a tree or something, got himself a little out of uh, whack and kilter there. Rider's going to catch up, but uh, not going to be able to make the pass. Here's Mullins, your leader, and now it's just Kyle Smith right behind him. 
what happened to the third place ride, the 121 of Nick Mackey as we see these two riders pedaling up the trail. Probably one of the easier parts of the uh, terrain. I believe Charlie Mullins actually asking Kyle Smith, did Kyle Mackey crash out? And here comes Mackey now in that number three spot. Things are starting to type up. Cypress Corey now getting a, a breath of fresh air as he can see the third place rider ahead of him. And that right there oftentimes gives these guys a little bit more incentive to pick up the pace a little bit and tighten things up. This uh, two and three man race that we've been seeing so far this season could come into a four man race as it's tightened back up a little further down the trail as Nick Mackey has once again gained some ground on these front two riders. And look how dry things are out here on this downhill section of this course. You can see the dust kicking up out there. You know it's hot out here in uh, Tennessee, but these riders Riders are not seeming to have a lot of problems with the uh, temperatures or the terrain here today. The 102 we see right there checking in with us. Brian Lopes out of Laguna Beach, uh, California. As we wrap up our first lap, it is Charlie Mullins and Kyle Smith running one and two nose to tail right now. They have lost Nick Mackey, at least put some distance back there to that third place position. And Cypress Gorey still in the hunt of this one as he is close back up just a little bit on the 121 machine. Or Nick Mackey acting like an accordion here early on and big money on the line. Is he going to be able to pull this one off? Make it three wins for the season. Stick around to find out. Welcome back to Hurricane Mills, Tennessee, Loretta Lynn Dude Ranch for the FIM North American EMTP Championship presented by Specialized, and it's bringing out folks from all over. Well, I, it was probably at least two years ago that uh, Erlen, uh, one of our representatives, uh, told me about the GNCC racing that was happening at, at the uh, moto events, and it took me a while to get here. COVID slowed it down, but uh, I'm a big advocate of e-bike racing. It's inclusive. It's bringing a lot of new people to the sport of bicycling. And uh, it, it's a super important market for it. You know, what? I've got a cross country background. So I remember like maybe six years ago, Specialized said, you know, we're, we're looking at the e-bike market. And I was thinking to myself, ah, you know, I'm not that interested in that. I'm a cross country guy. Right. But I tell you, like a lot of people, you get out and you experience the e-bike and you become passionate about it. Yeah. It's fun, and uh, my wife and I ride them all the time now in Durango. We, we use them to commute downtown to the restaurants, and uh, yeah, I've been doing different events around the country on them, and, and people are having fun, and it's bringing new people to the sport. Absolutely. We've seen uh, numbers more than double here in the 2021 season. As we got a new leader, Kyle Smith, out front of Charlie Mullins now as we head into the second half of this race. Nick Mackey is caught back up now into that third place position. Looks like they may have dropped Cypress Gorey back just a little bit as the gap is opening up quite a bit. So several seconds now between third and fourth place position. And I'm beginning to wonder, is that Cypress or not? Have we seen a change that may have taken place here? Without a doubt, Loretta Lynn's offering up a lot of challenge fresh off a of snowshoe GNCC where we had a lot of rocks and mountainous terrain. These types of rocks are a little bit different. Corey's still in that number four position, but some 25 seconds or so back as opposed to the 10 or so that he was uh, just a little bit ago. A gap opening up, it looks like, back to the number five spot also as we see our fifth place rider now starting to check in. It looks like the 107. Actually, that is one of our amateur riders we're checking in with. That 707, I believe that's a youth rider. Wade Homerding from Milford, Illinois, out of youth 9 to 12 year old class. He's running fifth in his class right now. And back to our leader, Kyle Smith. The number two, man, they are getting some speed down this hill right now as our front three are virtually nose to tail in a very high speed section of this race course. It looks, oh, mercy. You can see it's it's got its dangers out there as the number 33, Gerald White from Tampa, Florida, actually sixth rank in the XC1 class, having a very rough day today. And you can see why little things like this got him dropped back to about a 13th, 14th place position right now as more of our amateur riders checking in. That was the young Talon Hawk, son of Barry Hawk, as 
Mullins all over the rear wheel once again of Kyle Smith. There's Mackey still back in the number three position as we wrap up another lap of racing now. And these riders pushing with everything they have. Championship on the line. We saw the point standings, only three points separating Charlie Mullins and Nick Mackey. And right now both riders running second and third here at the FIM World Championship, which has brought out a lot of big names, including Pro Motocross and Supercross star Justin Brayton. Yeah, I mean, e-bikes, I think, are just, they're really just changing the game. Um, I'm fairly new to them, specialized, came out with an amazing e-bike, and uh, yeah, I've been training on it a little bit, having some fun with it. It's great for our training because we can really control our heart rate a lot, um, even on recovery rods, or, you know, we can go really as hard as we want on it. So, um, and most of all, it's just a blast. It is so fun to ride. And what's cool is my wife rides with me, um, you know, I've got friends that ride and, um, you know, I even got my parents on one a couple weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, it's just been really fun and um, big, big props to Specialize for having us out here to, uh, to Loretta Lynn's. I'm here with Gareth Swanepoel, trainer for Star Yamaha. And Gareth, if you could tell us how e-bikes are translating over into your training program for the Star Yamaha race team. Yeah, I think that's a good asset to, uh, you know, for motocross riders to cross over for training. Uh, you know, it allows us to be a little bit more of a controlled training. Uh, it's a bit closer to racing dirt bikes. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a slightly sl uh, closer crossover. And then it also allows a bit more fun, you know, uh, part of it too. Uh, with obviously using the e-bike, it's still really good training, but you know, with the engine assist, it allows you to do a lot more distance in a short amount of time. You know, which, you know, it just really, you know, translates to having more fun on the bike. And you know, if these boys do so much training there to go out and have some fun, and uh, plus training at the same time, that's that's really beneficial. A lot of visitors here at Loretta Lens, but no one able to top. Kyle Smith, Nick Mackey, or Charlie Mullins as of yet as these front three are now catching up and rolling through some lap traffic out there, it looks like. But they're still staying pretty tightly knit together. Lap riders getting out of the way, it seems like, on a pretty regular basis. As you can see, it can tighten things up for these riders. And they may be a little bit of distance at one section, but until a rider can get out of the way, it might slow your leader down for a little bit. It also gives riders like fourth place rider Cypress Corey an opportunity to knock off some of that 15 or 25 second gap that they're, they're faced with. Uh-oh, problems there for Talon Hawk, one of our youth riders, and looks like a battery change, actually. Barry Hawk, his father, trying to get him back up and rolling. Barry Hawk, a seven-time ATV GNCC champion and one-time motorcycle champ getting his boy through the ranks of EMTB. Right now, Kyle Smith leading Nick Mackey, Charlie Mullins, Cypress Gorey, and Seth Saluski, who's coming out on top at the Dude Ranch. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV-TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E-Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Welcome back. Closing moments of the FIM North American EMTV Championship presented by Specialized Kyle Smith, Nick Mackey, and Charlie Mullins. Nose to tail as Kyle Smith is going for his first win of the 2021 season. And here he comes. He's going to make it back to back. Loretta Lynn Championship wins and take the lion's share of $10,000 in cash here at the FIM North American EMTV Championship presented by Specialized. And you could ask for a better day for Kyle Smith. If you're going to win one, Loretta's is certainly one to win. Uh, it was good. I got off to a good start. It was a battle between a lot of people, but up that first hill, it was like five wide, but I got settled into second, and then Charlie crashed, so I got around him, and then we just battled me, Nick, and Charlie at the end. And uh, I just held him off on the last lap and managed to get the win, so it was good. Kyle Smith coming away with a big win here in 2021 and another big push by Kyle Mackey. Might give him a little bit of an edge as far as the championship points are concerned. Yeah, man, um, you know, it was it was a good race, man. Overall, I mean, I, I didn't go down, which was great. Um, I had the chain pop off, you know, a little delay. 
Um, then Charlie went down, so I got back on the group there. And then, man, I give it to Kyle, man. I mean, I caught up to him. And I mean, every every straightaway on the last lap, we were out of the saddle sprinting with Charlie trying to pass me. I mean, it was it was an all-out bloodbath. I mean, we were clean. We weren't hitting each other or anything. But, uh, yeah, it was good racing, man. Good. The track was good. Um, I think it suited the guys who really can ride some technical stuff because it was very loose off camber. Um, challenging course, you know, comes good climbs in there, so. Well, Kyle Smith, second win of his career, and it happened again here at Loretta Lens. This time taking the big money home. Nick Mackey finishing second, Charlie Mullins in third. We saw Cypress Corey in fourth, and Seth Zalewski rounding out your top five. Yeah, it was a good race. Uh, got a good start. Uh, was going to the woods a little, uh, I think, in the second, then got into the lead, and... Uh, from there, just tried the charge and ended up going down the second lap pretty good. Kind of rung my bell and Kyle got around me and then Nick caught us and uh, it was just a three-way freight train with the end and, you know, I gave it my all and ended up third is all I could do today. So uh, be ready for the next race. Mullins holds on for third and able to hold on to the point lead as far as the championship is concerned here in 2021 as he now only two points ahead of Nick Mackey and only six points ahead of third place ride Kyle Smith after that win and puts him within four of that second place position as well as we take a look at that specialized race recap it looked like it was going to be another day of great racing and competition as we've been seeing in the previous four rounds and Kyle Smith made sure of that as Charlie Mullins opened up in the number two spot you can see our first lap really saw our front six seven eight riders kind of close together as far as the class itself it was kind of bunched up, but as the race wore on, Mullins was able to stretch things out, Smith and Mackey, those three really starting to gap the field, if you will, but fourth place, Cypress Corey wasn't letting them out of the site too far as he kept coming in and trying to play with the top three for the first few laps, but when it was all said and done, coming down to the wire, it was between Kyle Smith, Nick Mackey, and Charlie Mullins, and Kyle Smith was the man to beat. He had won here one year ago at Loretta Lens and was hoping to be able to make it happen again. Even with the lap traffic that slowed them down and kept them bunched up, Kyle Smith was able to manipulate them, the terrain, and the competition that was coming in hot and heavy behind him as literally sprinting the last two laps of racing, which made for, I think, uh, Kind of an exciting finish. You can hear the crowd going wild and Kyle Smith feeling the accolades and the thrills of victory. Again, tightening up the championship should be a good one. You want to know more about GNCC Racing? For the latest news, go to GNCCRacing.com. For all of us here at Racer TV and Mav TV, I'm Rodney Toblin. Have a great day, everybody.